Good morning, B Marsh Boxing, back at it with another boxing video. So, man, you know, I was listening to the press conference calls between Deontay Wilder, the WBC champ at the heavyweight division, and he's going to be taking on um, Bermain Stavern in like two weeks. Not this weekend, but the weekend after. I was listening to the press conference between these two guys, and man, you know, Bermain Stavern looked like he got irritated by some of the questions that the reporters were asking him because they kept going back to the first fight they had. And Bermaster Vern's tired of talking about the first fight. He said he made some mistakes that he'll learn from, but this is a whole brand new fight and that's what he's looking focused on. And he said all this talk, you know, he could say, he said, Bermaster Vern said, quote, I could knock him out. I could say I could knock him out. And Deontay Wilder could also say he could knock me out, quote, but at the end of the day, it's just talking, you know? We're gonna have to get in the ring and we're gonna have to duke it out. You know, and um, Bermain Stavern made some in interesting comments as well about fellas like Luis Ortiz. You know, he said he's known Luis Ortiz since 2004. And let's just say, according to him, he said he'd been known Luis Ortiz, been on that funny stuff, you know, using PEDs and, you know, bad steroids and things, man, um, enhancing, performing and enhancing drugs. You know, and um, that's, you know, that was quite revealing from the man Bermain Stavern, and I don't doubt it, you know. I think the man um, uh, Luis Ortiz is a predicate, you know. Once you get caught once and then you get caught twice, you have a history and you can't deny that, you know. So, um, in my opinion, uh, I believe that the man, uh, what's his name, I believe I believe Bermain Stavern, I do believe Bermain Stavern knows that the man uh, is a... Is a is a predicate, Luis Ortiz. But the main reason I'm making this video is, um, truth be told, you know, Luis, um, but Mace Tavern's not really talking about his strategy on how he'll win this fight. I'm not saying he has to reveal everything um, under his sleeve, you know, on what he's going to do uh, as far as trying to re um, recapture the WBC title he lost to Deontay Wilder. But, you know, basically from, from what I gathered from um, hearing the man, um, but Mace Tavern speaking, it looks like Bermain Stavern will be um, satisfied by surviving. He didn't say he'll knock out Deontay Wilder, but he's adamant and he said with, relentlessly that there's no man who's ever knocked me out and Deontay Wilder could never knock me out. Nobody could ever knock me out. And you know, that's a strong statement to make, you know. He's basically putting pressure on the fellas like Deontay Wilder to try to knock him out. But Mainster Vern said, yeah, you could look at my box track, you could look at my record, and you'll see I, 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 I've been knocked out or I got a stoppage, but you got to look deeper into that fight. And, you know, a lot of people need to, too, you know. I mean, I'm a, it was, um, I can't even remember the fight, you know what I mean? But I remember it was a bad stoppage. A bad stoppage, and, you know, the man, I think it was like in the seventh round, you know. But Mainster Vern actually has never been knocked out, and he's adamant that he won't be knocked out. And it, from what I, like I said, what I heard him, the way he's talking, it's like he's just going to be satisfied by surviving. If he goes 12 rounds with Deontay Wilder, again, to him, that's a victory. You know, I heard all these, um, um, these uh, interviews on Fight Hype Channel. You could go check it out for yourselves and listen to what Bermain Stavern had to say. And he spazzed out on one reporter. He spazzed out on one reporter during that, um, that phone um, press conference, you know what I mean? But you know, Bermain Stavern, I hope you're coming to fight. I hope you're coming to try to regain your title back, you know? I'm personally picking Deontay Wilder. I'm not even gonna make a prediction video about it. Not because I think it's an easy win for Deontay Wilder, which actually it should, you know, with his motivation. If he's trying to get the big paydays, big fights, he needs to knock him out. I made a video about that in my opinion. I was like, hopefully Deontay Wilder is not overlooking. And, um, Bermain Stavern, but Deontay Wilder, he himself said, you know, occasionally, even though he does have an opponent that he's going to be facing next, he says he likes to go window shopping, uh, as in, you know, he's basically, you know, looking through an opponent, you know what I mean, and um, I suggest Deontay Wilder stay focused on this guy, and Deontay Wilder has actually said he's actually very focused and doesn't take any opponent for granted, that's Deontay Wilder who said that, that he doesn't take any opponent for granted. And he's ready to come fight the man Bermain Stavern, but he did say he's window shopping, as in looking forward to seeing, hopefully, if he can get that Anthony Joshua fight. 
Um, but but man, to earn, I hope you ain't just coming trying to survive, you know what I mean? Because in my opinion, you lost every single round of the first fight in this rematch. You got to come better, my friend. You know what I mean? You got to come back. You've had a long layoff. You know, a lot of time to ponder and think about what happened in January of, um, of 2015 when you lost to Deontay Wilder. You had one fight since that. I think that was that same year in 2015, probably November, December, where he did get floored, put on the canvas. And he hasn't fought since, you know what I mean? So he's had a lot of time to think about his strategy on how to beat Deontay Wilder. And, and Bermain Stavern also said he knew, he actually knew, and as he said, ask anybody who was in my camp or anybody who knows me. Deontay Wilder said, I'm sorry, Bermain Stavern said he absolutely positively knew that Luis Ortiz and Deontay Wilder was not gonna happen. You know, he just said he had a feeling it wasn't gonna happen. Hence the reason why he said he was gonna train he trained for the man Deontay Wilder the whole time, you know, and he said he did handpick Dominique Brazil. You know, him saying that he did handpick Dominique Brazil shows that Bermain Stavern's not afraid to fight nobody because at the rate Bermain, um, what's his name, Dominique Brazil's been fighting lately, he can hurt opponents, you know, he can take a punch and he can knock fellas out. I'm not saying that the man Dominique Brazil is a world beater, but he's a formidable opponent for any of these heavyweights. You check it. My opinion, man, he took a lot of leather from the man, uh, uh, what's his name, uh, Anthony Joshua. But then again, he also made Anthony Joshua bleed. Nobody has drawn blood from Anthony Joshua like Dominique Brazil. For, so for the man, um, Romain Stavern, to pick, hand pick Dominique Brazil shows he has a lot of courage and he ain't afraid of nobody. And I've always liked Stavern, you know. When he was supposed to fight against Povetkin, the fight ain't happened, but I ain't gonna lie. I, I wasn't I wasn't too confident in Bermain Stavern uh, winning that fight. I don't think he's an ultimate great fighter, you know. But I do I do like the guy. You know what I mean? I think he's a dude who takes no nonsense. Only thing is, them fellas need to drink some water for the next fight. Don't come talking about no excuses about being um, dehydrated. You know what I mean? As an athlete, you must drink water. You know, so Bermain Stavern saying that he handpicked um, Dominique Brazil. Hey, he's better than a lot of heavyweights out there because they ain't not trying to fight the man Dominique Brazil right now. Believe that, you know what I mean? So let me know in the comment section what you think about Bermain Stavern's um, interview on um, Fight Height. And you think from his tone of voice that the man is just willing to survive. He's happy with just going 12 rounds with Deontay Wilder, lose or draw. That's how. That's what I gathered from his um, conversation on the phone press conference. Be Marsh Boxing. Leave your thoughts and comments. Thanks again for listening. I'm gonna catch you on the next video. Peace.